I just landed in uh, the public dinghy dock here at Green Turtle Key. Our next taste of the Bahamas is Green Turtle Key, one of the more popular keys of the outlying islands for cruisers and tourists all around. The area I'm walking through is called New Plymouth, and it's the primary settlement on this island. Not knowing what this place looked like pre-Dorian, I was saddened by the devastation that is still evident three and a half years later. Let's see if I can grab the farm. All right, bro, safe travels right. back. Okay, love you. Stay in touch. Are you just seeing him off? Can I go? Nope. I'll be hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> brother just left and um, this is the start of my single-handed journey. Uh, I'm still here on Green Turtle Key. Uh, I got some wind coming in tonight so I think I'm gonna stay where I'm at in anchor. I was gonna move back up to Nunjack because there's a little better holding but eh, I'll just compromise a little bit of sleep I guess and uh, yeah and then uh, after it all blows through hopefully come back in and do uh, just a little bit of provisioning. This drum wake-up call was every morning at 5.30 a.m. I later learned that it was in celebration of the 12 days of Christmas. Today is Wednesday, the 21st of December. I'm still in Green Turtle Key, and last night was one uh, memorable night. It was, uh, Gale, near Gale Force. So it was really rolly and didn't get a ton of sleep, but also uh, I dragged anchor. Really glad I have an anchor alarm on my phone because um, otherwise I'd be getting up quite frequently just popping out, um, checking my bearings. My anchor reset, so that was great. And then I, I think I probably had like a seven to one scope and so I just let out a bunch more chain. I'm tired of this anchorage just because it's grass and sand and it, the holding is crap. I had to dive on the anchor when I got here because it wasn't setting. Not like it was last night, but we've got another system moving, uh, or the same system kind of finishing moving through later tonight that's going to produce more winds. And um, I'm really wanting to hang around here for, you know, I was hoping to be in like uh, Abacos for a few weeks maybe you know more i don't know but uh, i look south and like even just eleuthera and and even more so south of there like in the exumas are are much less affected by these fronts that blow off the east coast of the u.s so i'll, I'll move uh here in a couple hours just making coffee and uh maybe some breakfast and i'll move back to nunjack uh for this next system um, I'm trying to stay stay around here. Actually, I want to come back to Green Turtle for Christmas because there's a big potluck that the town is holding. Um, it's just right at Sundowners, right, um, right, real close by the dinghy dock. And um, and then in Monday, it's looking like uh, it's a really good passage to get to Marsh Harbor. Yeah, I'll be able to get my SIM card from Marsh Harbor because there's no places between West End and Marsh Harbor. Uh, that you can get a sim card so I'll uh, get that and then we'll see if I feel like coming back up or if I want to stage myself uh, and check out the, the south side of um, Abacos and stage myself for Eleuthera all right I just got off the ferry uh, they picked me up from my boat and I'm in Treasure Key I rented a car it was fifty dollars for the day um, which isn't bad. All I had to do is put my name, phone number, and address down and hand them $50 cash. This is a new experience for me. I have never driven on the left-hand side of the road before. I also haven't seen a speed limit sign, so I don't know how fast or slow to go, so I'm just going 50 miles an hour. I'm kind of pacing the person that just passed me. 
looks like it could have been a wildfire, but I'm going to guess that this uh, is actually a result of uh, maybe Dorian. While I was out uh, on the flats today, um, God, I cast uh, so many bonefish. Um, they're just big and smart. But uh, anyway, I was, uh, I just tied on another fly and I was looking forward to doing some more fishing when I heard a, a hiss and a pop and it turns out that there is a seam that just popped in my uh, in my skiff here. So I'm gonna make my way back to the boat and see if I can repair it. What a day to, to be out bone fishing though. Beautiful day. Too bad I got cut short. Okay, so I'm back here after having done a repair on my skiff, and I remembered that I have G Flex epoxy in uh, on board. I spoke with boat board support, or I chatted with them, and they said that a stronger solution would be MM60, which I, I just can't get here. I'd have to order it on Amazon, have it shipped here, and pay VAT and everything. Um, so for a better job, I'm going to use this West System Flexible Epoxy. Uh, I'm going to cut a couple pieces of this wood that will fit on either side of this seam. So then I can use the clamps there to clamp them down and hold them until the set time is done. Uh, I believe the working time on this epoxy is, um, okay, yeah, cure time is seven to 10 hours. So, uh, I'm just gonna let it sit here. I think I'm gonna head over to pineapples walk around and kill seven to ten hours after I do this This little Japanese Pole saw that I bought is super super handy. It cuts like lightning through wood softwood and hardwood. I Love it All right, I've got the repair done with the uh, West system G flex and I think this is gonna get me back on the flats tomorrow Got the seam tightened down with a couple clamps. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, wait, wait a little while. Uh, well, seven hours and then, and then uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Probably, probably leave it overnight, actually. Um, the second bladder I can still get around. That's why I was able to get here on this, uh, uh, on this landing. Junkanoo is a festival celebrated on the day after Christmas known as Boxing Day in the Caribbean, primarily in the Bahamas. The origin is somewhat up for debate, but it mostly centers around a great defeat of the British on the Ivory Coast. And when word made it to the Caribbean in the year 1708, people begin celebrating the day yearly ever since. The 
highlight of this was definitely the drums. They shook the ground as they marched by. This morning I'm going to go uh, check out the other side of uh, Green Turtle Key, uh, the White Sound area. I've been anchored in Black Sound, which is the southern um, side of Green Turtle Key. And I'm just waiting for the tide to drop, um, kill in a couple hours. And then um, on my back I've got a fly rod and I'll uh, step onto the town flats and chase down some bonefish. Yeah, you definitely need a golf cart uh, or a vehicle to get around quickly. But uh, if you don't have either of those, a one wheel will do nicely. Oh, I have just uh, weighed anchor in No Name Key and I'm heading to, whoa. Okay, I just weighed anchor in No Name Key and I am heading to uh, Whale Key Cut. It looks like it's gonna be a motor day, which is all right, um, because that means there's no winds, there's no big offshore swell from any storm. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to a mellow and uh, uneventful passage. Got in from whale key cut and it was a motor the whole way and it's looking like it's going to be a motor all the way to marsh harbor if i wasn't going to plant myself at a marina to uh, do a little bit of uh, maintenance as well as pick up a new dinghy that uh, will be delivered to the marina then uh, i would definitely drop the hook right here because it's Super calm, super mellow for the next uh, 36 hours. Um, we do have gale conditions coming in in about 48 hours. So anyway, it'll be nice to be at a marina, I suppose, for that. And um, yeah, not much else to report. Um, it's just really mellow, but it's kind of pretty out here. Um, this is the old shipping channel, and that is the island made from the dredging of the channel um, back this way is uh, the entrance from uh, the cut and I cannot remember what this part is but it looks really cool nice beaches really neat uh, because my dinghy uh, is in hospice I really couldn't plant myself anywhere anyway and go to shore unless I swam which is cool but you know uh, you can't really take anything with you. And that's it. See you next time when I head further south to Marsh Harbor. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the description if you'd like to support this channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>